Hi there, this is Ed Herzog, and in this video, what I want to do is I want to show you a brand new integration between two of my favorite tools, an integration between the Elementor Page Builder and the Rank Math SEO plugin. Now, you can use this integration with either the free version of Elementor or the pro version. It doesn't matter. And Rank Math itself right now is a 100% free plugin. I know that in the future, they do plan on introducing a, a paid version. But what I've heard, what they've said all along is you're not going to lose any of the features. So if you want to use Rank Math as your SEO, SEO plugin to analyze the SEO of your, of your website, of your posts, of your pages, you will not lose any features if you don't choose to switch over to their paid version when that comes out. Now, I switched to Rank Math several months ago. I would used Yoast for a while, for a long time actually which is a, you know, as you may know, is a very popular SEO plugin, but I found that it never quite played well with Elementor. I would have things on my page and Elementor would say, or I'm sorry, and Yoast would say they weren't there. You know, it'd say that I didn't have the, uh, my keyword in the page title of my post. And I'd say, but there it is, it's right there. And it just, Yoast just never for me played well with Elementor. So I looked around and I found Rank Math and I tried it out and I just, right from the beginning, I thought it was amazing. And it didn't have those issues that I had with Yoast. And so I switched right away. And I, so I've been using it for several months. So when they came out with this integration, I was like, wow, this is awesome. So I'm going to switch over now and show you what that integration looks like. Switch you to my desktop. So here I am. You can see I've already got a post pulled up on my website called 15 Free Online Tools to Grow Your Business. I'm already inside of the Elementor editor. Now you can see here with Elementor, you know, this is how it normally looks. You get elements and then you get your global widgets. But now you also, once you have the Rank Math SEO plugin installed on your website, you also get this third thing here called SEO. So you see here right now, this is completely 100% integrated with Elementor. So you see, it's right now showing you the preview of what your post in this case, or it could be a page, will look like on Google or on other search engines. And it's also giving it a score. I'm getting 90 out of 100. So there are a couple of improvements I could make, but I'm doing pretty good. Now it's showing right here, you know, 15 free online tools to grow. It's giving the, you the URL and the, uh, and the introductory text that you would see on the search engine. Now right here, I can go in and just click on this button and edit that. Now the cool thing here when I edit it, it's basically, it's showing me how this will show up in Google search results, what it will look like. Now it doesn't tell me my, what my rank is, rank is. It's not the sort of plugin that gives you your ranking for Google, but it will show you here exactly what it looks like. And you can also take a look at it, click on that and take a look at it, add it on mobile. Then you can just go in here and edit. If you wanna, you've got different uh, things you could put in here for your title, uh, you know, different separator characters. And you've got a whole bunch of different things you can just click on and it will go into the title. Or you could type the title if you want to do it that way. Now, in my case, you may not be able to see this, but it's picking up the title and the site name, which is why you're seeing, if we go back over here to the desktop, 15 free online tools to grow your business, and then the uh, dash, and then Ed Herzog. Then you've got the permalink. Again, that's already set up as edherzog.com backslash free online tools. And then here is the description right there. Uh, and so I can just, I could edit that right here if I wanted to, but I've already got it set up the way I want to. But if I, if it wasn't, I could go ahead and edit it. You can also then take a look at how does it, how's it going to look when it's shared on social media. So again, you see right here what it looks like, the preview. And then you can make changes here. You could change the title, change the description, add an image. You can add an icon overlay to the thumbnail. So you've got some options there for for uh, customizing the look of how your post will be when it's shared on social media. And there's the Twitter version right there. And most of this, the Twitter version generally gets picked up from Facebook. You can uh, turn that off though, in which case it's not getting picked up by the Facebook tab. And then you can edit it just like you would with the Facebook one. And then you can also change the card type. I've got summary card with large image, but you can put summary card, app card, or player card. So that's how it looks when you preview it. Now here it's giving you feedback on how your website is doing in terms of the different criteria. Um, actually, I should back up here a second. First, you've got here your focus keywords. You can put your focus keyword in. Right now, 
my understanding is they're only going to show you information for one focus keyword. I do believe that they're working on doing multiple, but for now, if I were to add another one, let's just say my focus keyword word right now is free online tools. If I want to add a second one, online tools, you see it doesn't really come up. It, it shows it, but it's kind of a light reddish gray sort of thing. Uh, so it's really just giving you one. So that's when, when we look at this 90 out of 100, it's what how I, well I'm doing for that particular keyword here. You can also pick this as your pillar content if this is a very key uh, post for your website. You could click that right there. Then here it's giving your basic SEO. And again, you can click on any of these uh, any of these question marks and give you more information. So, you know, it's saying right here, my focus keyword is in the SEO title. Again, we can already see that. Uh, you know, the free online tools right there. Uh, it's in the SEO meta description. Again, if I come up here right there free online tools it comes up a couple times so you know if, if you're getting things that are wrong it's going to tell you and then you can go back and change them the focus keyword is in the URL yes it is etc so you know anything that's telling you is not good you want to go then and change and that will definitely help you relative to Google now here I am getting uh, this is basic this is additional SEO I do have one issue here that I uh, it's saying my keyword density is 0 0.038 which is low uh, it's found a total of six times. So I could add the keyword in a few more times if I wanted to. Uh, I've looked at it and I think I'd be kind of doing a bit of stuffing. I think it kind of works the way it is. Uh, I think that if I put in the keyword more times, it wouldn't really be very natural. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having that particular error. Then you come down here to the title readability. Again, uh, focus keyword use at the beginning. Yes. So I got to scroll down here a little bit. Sometimes those are hard to grab. Title has a positive or negative sentiment. Your title contains one power word and you're using a number in your SEO title. And here you get your content readability. Now here is a neat feature which uh, kind of fits with a recent release of Elementor. As you may know, Elementor recently came out with a table of contents plugin. So right now it is saying you seem to be using a table of contents plugin. Actually, it's not a plugin, it's, it's part of Elementor itself. It's one of the, the um, widgets you can put on your website. And so I am using that if I scroll down here. Oops, where is it at? Here you go. So there's the table of contents. This is the Elementor widget. So uh, again, Rank Math SEO is able to pick that up and say, yes, I am using a table of contents. The value of that is, you know, you may have seen sometimes L, or sometimes Google will pick out one particular post and start kind of listing things from that post. Now it's hard to rank for that. Uh, let me just give you an example from a different, um, we'll type in increase online sales. I've got a post on that. Now I don't, you know, because there's a lot of competition for this, I don't rank on this one. I don't show up, but this is basically, you know, if I was the one in the lead position here, you know, with the table of contents, this is how it would look, right? It would start, start showing some of the copy here, the one, two, three, four, et cetera. Now in this case, you know, again, somebody else has me outranked. There's not much I can do about that. Obviously I can continue to build my ranking, but for now uh, I'm not ahead of this particular post in terms of what Google wants to display. Uh, and it says I'm using short paragraphs and my content contains images and or video. So that's it, uh, you know, that is the basic there. You know, again, this will pull in and re read all of your Elementor content. You can then, again, make edits to the content so that, you know, if you've got things that are red uh, that you want to fix, it's very easy to do. And then, you know, it should change to green. Uh, you've got some other things. Now here, we're just looking at the general tab. Now you can click over here. It gives you robots meta. So you can index, no follow, no follow index, no index, no archive, no snippet. Here you've got some advanced robots meta, which I'll admit is a bit outside of my uh, expertise. Here's the canonical URL, um, which informs the search engine which page is the main page if you have double content. And here you can set up a redirect if for some reason you need to redirect the content. You can come over here. Now this is important. You can tell it what type of snippet it is. Now in my case, it's an article, but you've got all these options, book, course, event, job posting, music, uh, person, product, recipe, restaurant, service, software, application, or video. Again, Google will display particular results based on what type of content you have, and that can help you. Like, uh, let's say you've got a recipe website, and personally, I like chili, so let's take a look at chili recipes. 
So you can see, again, Google is uh, displaying these chili recipes right up here in a different way. You know, it's not displaying them. Actually, it's displaying them here, too, with previews of the, of the uh, food. And so, you know, if you're telling Google that I've got a recipe, or if you, t if you put in here in Rank Math, I've got a recipe, then, you know, you can start getting your post to display like this. Now, obviously, in my case, mine's an article. It's, <laughs> it's plain and boring. It's not, you know, anything like a recipe. So, uh, you know, mine would be the more traditional search results. Uh, and then once, you know, once you pick that, you can put, put in uh, the headline. Again, this is getting back. This is the same as what I showed you before in terms of the preview. When I showed you over here where you can edit the snippet, it's giving the same thing over here. You can, again, edit the headline, edit the description. And then finally, pick a, an article type, whether it's an article, a blog post, or a news article. Finally, you've got one last key, which again, same thing. Actually, it's just another way to get to it where you can get to the preview, where you can see what your, uh, what your website, where your post, what your page will look like when it is on Google or perhaps other search engines. That's it. I think this is a great integration. I know there's been, you know, people have been asking for other page builders and Rank Math has said, you know, that's not up to us. You know, we can definitely, you know, we've opened discussions with other page builders, but, you know, they have to kind of give us access to, you know, whatever. I, you know, I don't know how this technology works, but, you know, Rank Math can't do this without the page builder saying, yeah, this sounds great. We'd love for you to be able to integrate with us. So if you don't use Elementor, this sort of integration may come in the future, but there's no guarantee. It really depends on the page builder. So if you use a particular page builder, if you're using Divi, Beaver Builder, Brizzy, Oxygen, uh, what am I missing? I think I'm missing one of the big ones. Um, anyway, if you're using one of those, oh, Thrive Themes. Thrive tends to be very closed. I'd be surprised if they allow this. Uh, but if you're using one of those and you want this sort of integration with your page builder, contact them. Tell them, hey, you know, I saw this tutorial on Elementor, their integration with Rank Math. I'd love to have this with Divi. I'd love to have this with Brizzy. I'd love to have this with uh, Oxygen, et cetera. Uh, you know, let them know. I think this is very useful, very powerful. It's very, and it's also very easy. It just makes it, you know, because before, like, I'd have to have two tabs open. I have, I'd have one tab open uh, showing my content and another tab going back to my, uh, to my WordPress dashboard. And I have to kind of toggle back and forth between those two. It's very, very kind of clunky. And here it's just all right within the Elementor dashboard. So as I'm creating a post, you know, I could have this open and see how things are changing. See how, you know, oh, okay. Uh, you know, before I didn't have enough key, I didn't have enough uh, keyword density, but, you know, I'll add a few more in there and now I've got it. So again, this, this direct integration, I think is very powerful and you know, can really, really, really help you if SEO is important to you in terms of building your business. So that's it. That's all I've got to say. Again, if you want the Rank Math SEO, oh, actually, no, it's not all I have to say. They also have a great Facebook group, I should say. Uh, both of them actually, Rank Math and Elementor. Um, just go here for a second on here. So if you go to Facebook and go to Rank Math, And wait, and wait, <laughs> and there we go. Rank Math SEO plugin, very, very helpful. The people behind this plugin are very helpful, even though right now they're not making money from it. If you make a post, they do, they do approve posts here, so you don't, your posts don't automatically go, automatically go to the group, but you know they'll help you out with technical issues and whatnot. So they've got a great, very helpful Facebook group. Elementor does as well. Actually, there are very, various Elementor groups, but the one called Elementor Community is the biggest. It's the one where Elementor themselves tends to post. This is uh, moderated by volunteers, so be nice if you join this group. And maybe that is it. Um, so subscribe to my channel. As always, I like to say that uh, I've always got lots more videos coming out. I'm closing on 50 videos. My goal is to have you know 250 by the end of the year. So. Make sure to subscribe. I've got a lot of information to help you grow and build your online business. So that's it. Uh, and I hope this video is helpful to you. Have a great day. Bye.